Hey everybody, my name is Ryan. This is my Raspberry Pi Sprout. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Sprout Tutorials. Today we're going to be looking at how to uh, back up your Minecraft server to the cloud. Luckily this is really really easy and can be done with a plugin. So let's get right into it. Uh, so the first thing we want to do is go to this link um, in the description below that I've put there. Um, it's called Drive Backup V2. Um, this is a just a plugin as I mentioned. So you're going to want to click this download button. You can see I've already done that and I've actually moved it to my uh, desktop, which you can see here. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, transfer it over to our Raspberry Pi, which doesn't need a USB or anything. We can just do it over the uh, local area network, which is pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is uh, CD to desktop and I'm going to do SCP. Let me make this a little bigger. Uh, SCP drive backup um, pi at sprout, which is the name of my Raspberry Pi. Type in your password. I hope I did that right. Cool. There we go. Really fast, really easy. Uh, now if we go to our Pi, which I've already logged into, I do a quick ls, and there it is um, in our home directory. Now what we do is we cp, we copy it to our Minecraft directory plugins folder. Um, and if you don't know how to make a Minecraft server, this is it. Um, let me Head over there. Yeah, if you don't know how to make a Minecraft server, check out my other video um, on how to do that. It's pretty simple. If you just follow all the steps, uh, you can see there's a plugins directory here. So we're going to go over there. Uh, now you can see I've got the jar file here. Now what we want to do is kind of activate it. Um, there's a number of ways to do this. I use a bash script just for this tutorial video. Um, you can also run your system on something called systemd. I have another video on that. It, runs your server whenever you lose power, or it's just kind of on all the time. Much more convenient in my opinion, but this is just a tutorial video. So I'm using a bash script. Um, I'm gonna do sudo bash mc1.sh, press enter. Um, and we'll wait for that to load so we can kind of see everything going. Um, and also just, again, I mentioned this in my other video, it's a really bad idea to run a sudo. I can't stress that enough. Um, if somebody hacks your Minecraft server and they can get into your uh, Raspberry Pi as root user, and they can just do all sorts of nefarious damage. So never do that unless you're making a tutorial video for YouTube uh, where it doesn't matter and it's just on your local network. Um, I suppose anyone on your local network could get in too, but just don't do it in general. But uh, I feel pretty confident in the 15 minutes I'm doing this, I'll be fine. Okay, yeah, you can even see there's like a warning. Um, please don't do this. In my other video, I showed you how to set up users. It's just much more safe. Okay, there we go, drive backup is loading. Um, now it's enabling, great, so far so good. Um, config loaded, okay, super. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to do drive backup, enter, and you'll see we have all these really cool uh, commands. What we're interested in is drive uh, backup, link account, Google Drive. Um, you could do it on OneDrive or Dropbox, I haven't tried it, uh, Google Drive works pretty well to me, for me, excuse me. Uh, link account, Google Drive, okay, we'll press enter. Uh, it says the link to your Google Drive account. We follow this command, so we'll just go ahead and copy. Whoops, go ahead and copy that, and uh, we will just go ahead and paste that here. Okay, so it's asking for a code. Um, we can get that here. All right, press enter, and uh, it's asking for permission. Just click on the account you want to give permission to. Press continue, and there we go. We can return to our client. Um, now it's saying it'll schedule a backup every 60 minutes. Um, let's do a hard stop real quick. Um, and we're going to do some other things here. So I'm going to SSH to my Pi again from a different tab uh, because we want to change a few things in the config folder before we do a backup. Um, conceivably, you could just back it up right there, but I'm just going to show you a few more things. So you can see now we have a uh, directory, so we'll cd into that, uh, and then we will uh, sudo nano our config.yml. Cool. So the delay is going to be how often you want it to update your server. It's in minutes. Um, I recommend doing something much higher, uh, unless you have a bunch of unlimited storage, uh, and a, depending on how big your server is, that can really add up over time, unless you're constantly like deleting old uh, files. So um, it's really whatever you want. Um, backups require players. I have this set to false so that it just um, doesn't need someone on the, not flash, false, 
doesn't need someone on the server to update, or excuse me, to back up. Um, but if you want it to just do that when players are playing, then um, that's up to you. It's a lot of preference here. Um, okay, this is, okay, so this one, uh, I believe local save directory will actually make a backup directory on your Raspberry Pi. Now, if you want a local backup, that's cool. But um, for me, the whole point of this is to do it to the cloud. So I actually delete this line. So it only goes to the cloud and that way I can use my Raspberry Pi storage for other things. Uh, we're gonna call this backup directory MC1 um, to differentiate from the other uh, backup folder I have linked to this account. I have it for my main server actually. Uh, okay, Google Drive enabled true, and um, you can see there's some other stuff here, but I'm just gonna not mess with it. Okay, so we'll do Control X, press Y for yes, enter. Okay, um, and I hope you can, can't hear my cat. It's being really loud in the background. Okay, cool, so we're gonna clear this. Uh, we're gonna, I believe that's everything we want. Let's clear that. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna hop back over to our server, and um, just real quick, this is really annoying. But um, sometimes when you do a hard stop like that, you get this thing called session.lock in your uh, world directories, and it uh, disables your server from running. Um, so again, if you're running with systemd, it's a lot easier, but when you do it manual, like, manually like this, sometimes you get this. So you just need to do this in, um, in each world directory. Uh, you could also set up an alias script to do this, but um, Again, I'm just, you know, I had to figure all this stuff out on my own. So if I can help anybody out with session.lock, um, then that's great. Okay, now we should be able to run it. So let's go back to our scripts folder where our bash script is. I'm gonna do sudo bash uh, mc1.sh, I'll press enter. And uh, then the server will load again, hopefully. And we will um, have our uh, drive uh, Google Drive account here, and you can see I've got one called Backups in Minecraft. Those are for other tests that I've done. Um, we are looking for a folder called MC1, okay? So yeah, good. We will wait for that. So let's just go ahead and minimize that while we're waiting for this to go. And I may speed this up while we're waiting because it does take a minute. Okay, there it goes. I'll just I'll just wait with you guys. I'm sure you can you can just fast forward in the YouTube video too because nothing exciting is happening here. Okay, yeah, drive backup is going. That's great. Drive backup enabling. I hope uh, we got the time. Do we change it to 58? 5,800? Yeah, cool. So we can see that we changed it there every 5,800 minutes. Cool. So now what we do, this is our last step. Um, we're gonna do, we're gonna force a backup here and try to see it on our on the cloud. So I'm gonna do drive backup, backup, which will just initiate a manual backup being forced. Um, and yeah, it's saying it might lag for a little bit. Um, I've never experienced any serious lag. I guess it really depends how big your server is. Um, but we can see that it's already making backups for the end. That's done, because there's probably nothing there. Same for the nether. Uh, so let's hop over to our Google Drive thing, and boom, there it is, our MC1 folder. Yay, we did it. So um, this is where your files will be um, in, I guess, .zip format. Uh, let's double click this and see what, yeah, it's a .zip folder, cool. So you can uh, download that and um, do what you will with it. So that's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. And um, if you wanna check out my other videos on systemd and how to set up a Minecraft server, check out the channel. And I will see you next time. So long.